Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna consider the following function, which is given by f of x is one over x, okay? We wanna find its domain of definition. We wanna graph this function f. And also, we wanna define g, another function, g of x as minus f of x. And also, we wanna graph h, which is the absolute value of f of x. Okay, the first question that we have is what's the domain of of the, the, the of f the f of x? So here we have f of x is one over x. Okay, so we notice that for every x there is some some we can we can divide by x except when x is zero. So when x is zero we have one over zero. So every value has an inverse except zero. That means zero is the only one, the only element that can't have an inverse. So in this case, the domain is minus infinity. We take zero and we take zero here. So it's basically we're taking zero from the left and zero from the right, okay? We can write this one as R star, okay? Or sometimes we can write it as R minus zero it's the same thing okay so now we graph we graph f okay so we give it some special values okay like for one we have the image of one is one the image of minus one is one over minus one which is minus one and also we notice that as here for one over x as x gets bigger the values decreases, okay? So here we, we see that when we get, when we have bigger values of x, one over x is gonna be small, okay? But when we are in this interval between zero and one, we have small values. When we divide by smaller values, we get bigger values. So that's why the graph is gonna be something like this, okay? And since this function here is odd, why is it odd? Because we have f of minus x, it's one over minus x, which is minus one over x, which is minus one over x, which is minus f of x. In this case, if we have f of x is minus f of x, that means the function is odd and it's gonna be symmetric with respect to the origin. So here, we just take the symmetric of this graph with respect to the origin. So we have something like this, so, okay? It's, it's something like this, exactly, okay? So now, we, we this is the graph of of f of x, so y is f of x. Now we are asked to find the graph of minus f of x. So what does this minus here? It just flips, okay? Okay, to flips the graph about the x axis. So here we flip this one here and we flip this one to the top. So in this case, we have something like this. Okay, so, and here, this is the graph of g of x, okay? So the positive becomes positive and the negative becomes negative. Now we can find this one, the absolute value of f of x. Remember that the absolute value of x is, it's x, if x is positive, it's minus x, if x is negative, okay, I'm excluding the zero here, okay? It can include the zero here because we don't have a problem, but for one over x, we have a problem with zero. So for one over x, the absolute value is gonna be one over x if x is positive, and minus one over x when x is negative, okay? So when we have one, when we have x is positive, that means we are here. So we have this graph. Okay, so this is h of x. Okay, so we have this, this graph, the same as f of x. And we have minus 
1 over x when x is negative. So we flip it. So we flip this one, which is g of x. So here is this one. Uh, I need to, to draw it nicely. But anyway, you get the idea. So this is the, the one in red is the graph of h f of x in absolute value. Okay. So remember the absolute value is always positive. That's why we have the graph above the x axis. Okay. So this is a quick reminder of the some of the basics that we have seen. I will add more examples like this.